Hey everybody and welcome back to WoW Classic. Today we are taking on some trolls. And we are going to try to complete at least some of Curzon's mastery. Colonel Curzon was once a great noble man. I must find what caused his fall into depravity. He may be under the sway of troll magic. To confirm this, I must study some of their legends. There are four tablets hidden within the troll ruins of Stranglethorn. I must see what is written on these tablets. Transcribe their markings and bring the transcriptions back to me. The first tablet is in the Balal ruins, the second is in the Vile Reef, and the third and fourth are in the ruins of Zulkanda. And that's where we find ourselves right now. We are in the ruins of Zulkanda, which is basically directly west of Nessingwari Expedition. If you were wondering. And so I'm assuming it's going to be an item we have to find in here and either interact with or possibly click and loot type deal. I don't think it's going to be something that drops off of any of the mobs here. But we'll see. I see a lot of people slaughtering a lot of trolls, so... It's possible that we're simply here to wipe out their entire population. But, you know, they are trolls. They probably deserve it. I think we need to have a pretty thorough look around. Under the, under the assumption that we are looking for an object and that we don't necessarily have to fight every mob we see. And we'll see how that goes. It looks like there's more beyond this wall, but I guess we need to figure out how to get all the way around over there. Going this way would be a good start, I believe. So I guess this is basically a troll city, right? Uh, do these guys need help? They seem like they have it. Oh, these are Horde. I, I probably shouldn't be helping Horde anyway. In the spirit of... the faction war. Ooh, okay. Hello. Uh, and I'm thinking, like, we don't really know where this thing is. Could be anywhere. It could be anything. It could even be this. The Emperor's Tomb. Okay. That seems like a good place for us to start clicking. Let's clear this guy out of the way. Kinda hoping these guys don't run. They're called Berserkers. So I'm just kind of assuming that he isn't going to run. Which isn't going to stop this Witch Doctor from running right over here and joining in on the fun. We should be able to deal with him. And I think if he had a healing spell, he probably would have tried to throw it down on that guy we just killed. So we should be in the clear there. Oh, or not. Oh good, he just summoned a healing ward. At least we could take care of that. Uh, the earth grab I'd rather not deal with, but we're losing DPS on him. Like, hardcore. That worked out okay. I thought about using sweeping strikes, but honestly, they weren't both alive long enough together. Alright, so that's the fourth troll legend. Now, the quest said that there were two here. The third and the fourth are in the ruins of Zulkunda. So that's one. We need to find the third. I'm just hoping that it doesn't mean it's lower in the pyramid, you know? Maybe if we get a look around from the edge up here, we'll gladly let him take that mob. I'm gonna walk along the edge here, and that way we can check these corners and see if I can hover over anything 
or if anything looks like a tablet. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. What about back in the corner back here? I'm going to try not to pull all three of these guys at once. And this Torrin is just going to help us out in that endeavor. Okay, there's a solid chest way back there. But I'm not really seeing anything else. We could come take a look at the other side, from the other side of the tree. I don't think it's back there, actually. And we definitely don't want to fight this guy, Ganzula, level 41. So let's get out of this little area. And maybe now we jump down back here to the west and then do another circuit of the outside parts of the encampment. Like down here would be a good place to jump down. This looks like the, ver the very edge of the settlement, so I don't think we're going to find it outside of this little city. I think it's going to be somewhere within its boundaries. Some purple lotus. Uh, our, our herb pouch is now full, so that's going to have to be upgraded eventually. I'd rather not fight all these guys. I'm kind of wondering if this group of horde players is going to take some of them on. I'd prefer that. Honestly, uh, I could probably pull this guy by himself. <laughs> Barely. I think we were pretty close to pulling this scout back here, actually. These guys actually start to do quite a bit of damage uh, after they enrage. Let's get him down. Nice dodge. Well, we got another potion. That's good. Replace the one we basically just used. These guys are doing a lot of work for us, so I appreciate that. And maybe now we'll check in this other area. If we look on the mini-map, they almost look like two different districts. And so to me it makes sense that there would be one tablet in each district, so we'll see if that pans out. Alright, now that we have an idea, kind of, of what we're looking for, we could take a glance around the area and see if anything fits the description. Not seeing much immediately. Life root back here. And a scout, who is really close to two other guys that I don't want to pull. So maybe I could just line of sight the scout. There we go. And we'll stay safely out of view of the others. Although none of these guys have shown a tendency to run at all. So that's been nice. I wonder if his dodge goes up when he enrages as well. Or if we're just missing. Oh, 
Oh, we're also collecting tusks for Cyclonian, which is a warrior quest. Okay. And this is for a weapon. I will infuse the heart's power in a weapon. And I will give that weapon to you. And that's a red quest, so if we do get to complete this... That's gonna be really good. Might take us a while though. But at least now we know where to get tusks from. And we'll be killing a lot of trolls in Stranglethorn if the Alliance quest or anything like the Horde quests. So that's good. Oh, let's get this life root, shall we? It's kind of what led us back here to begin with. If I can find it, that is. Here we go. Haven't seen any tablets and nothing else clickable. Not back here in the corner. Let's head out this way and check behind some of these other walls. And I, what I don't know is if it would despawn after another player clicked it, if we'd have to wait for it to come back. That would be unfortunate. Uh, let's, let's see, I wonder if across the street here is part of the same settlement. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Because then it would make even more sense for it to be across the way. I guess we could sweeping strikes a little bit. Um, maybe could have used that a little sooner. I don't know how much health his tiger is going to have, but it seems like a considerable amount. Yeah, that was probably something we should have used a little earlier in the fight. Um, are we going to have to use this last potion? Yes. Yes, we are. And that's not good. For a couple of reasons. Firstly, we don't have a potion now. Secondly, uh, we don't really want to be getting our asses kicked that handily. Well, thank you, kind sir. I appreciate that. Yeah, it looks like this is also Zokunda. Oh, look, it's raining. Beautiful. It's a jungle, so it makes sense. Okay, this is this is the, uh, still the area we can we want to be in searching for this tablet. So, aha, fall of Gurubashi. Are we getting any item? Oh, we are. Look at this. The fourth troll legend. By moon and fire, by flesh and bone, scribed in blood, carved in stone. Leave this place or meet your doom. Death stands guard over the emperor's tomb. And then the one we just picked up is the third troll legend. Ooh, this is lengthy. Okay. Well, do we want to head over to... Oh, well, hi. Let's take care of this guy and contemplate our next move. Um, I would have preferred that to not have happened. Honestly. And yet here we are. Balal ruins and then the Vile Reef. We have to make sure that we sell the multiples if we get pages that are multiples. Bell Lal Ruins, aha, so just basically to the south of us. Let's head there. And see if we can't just finish this one up. I know that it's an orange quest, but these guys are at our level or below, so it's possible that... Um, the trolls down to the south here are going to be a little bit stronger, but we need to find that out. 
And then the Vile Reef. I don't know that I know where that is. It sounds incredibly familiar, like I should know where it is. And yet I don't. It could be something in the southern part of Stranglethorn, I suppose. And to investigate that, we could... We have a breadcrumb that would take us down to... To Booty Bay. So we could head south and explore some of the map. And see if we can find the Vile Reef while doing that. But for now, let's head right down to the place where we know where it is. And we might be able to get a little sneak peek at their level. Ah, 33, that's lower. I'm thinking that the Vile Reef guys, wherever they are, must be maybe level 37, 38 for it to be an orange quest. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. These guys are only level 33. And we might not even have to fight too many depending on... Yeah, it's right here, so... Let's click it. And then what do we do? Do we just start running south? We could try to finish this up. That'd be nice. The second is in the Vile Reef. It's got to be to the south. Uh, Raptor, we're traveling here, okay? Just don't stun us. I'm on a mission, and that mission doesn't involve fighting 17 raptors. I need to turn the screen flash off when we get hit, or when we aggro. It's kind of annoying. Let's not run right into Gromgull. Let's skirt that and head over this way, see if we can unveil some of the map. be able to stick to this road for a minute but uh, the road's heading more to the north and I don't really want to go north I'd really like to keep going south so at least veering southerly level 37s okay so we are going up a little bit in level Mizja ruins Nothing told us to be here. Which is interesting. Okay, there's ogres here, not trolls, which would explain why we have not been told to be there. Stranglethorn Tigress, we don't need those. Um, I don't like that. Something tells me that getting too near to this guy is just going to spell immediate doom. I wonder... I wonder what his aggro radius is. Well, it's it's not this. Which is good for us. I was hoping that something would reveal on the map so we could see some landmarks. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. A level 38 panther. Well, the Vile Reef is in this area. We are maybe getting a little taste of exactly why. Let's go back into battle stance. Thank you. If we don't start landing hits on this guy, we're going to be in big trouble. Mm. 
this panther means business. Okay. Okay, well apparently we do need these. But I'd rather not fight them until we gain another level. If that's possible, but uh, well, that's good to know. I didn't realize that we picked up the next part. And then Tiger Mastery, we're looking for Sindal. And that one we could actually do if we happen to come across a tiger named Sindal. We definitely want to take it down. But the Panthers, uh, at least now we have an idea of where they're at. So they're just across the river. I'm wondering, like, what kind of landmark do I have to discover here to get it to ping the map with some kind of location, but it just isn't doing it. And before we know it, we'll be down, all the way down in Booty Bay. And might be none the wiser for where the Vile Reef is, which wouldn't be too bad if we could turn in the breadcrumb we have there. I just don't want to get inundated with quests down there that are too high of a level. Uh, we are not going to fight that. Okay. Alright. Something is telling me that maybe the Vile Reef is not down here. It could be like on the coast over here. It doesn't make sense for it to be anywhere else but along a coastline, right? Why would like why would it be in the middle of this area? So let's let's head back towards the coast and um, hopefully not run into too many more level forty mobs. Although we easily could in this area, it seems like okay. Discovered the Cape of Stranglethorn, and yet still nothing on the map. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm still seeing level 39s. This is a panther right here. Assuming we could take it down, that'll be our third. But we're not going to kill it if we don't stop missing. That's basically guaranteed. It's going to come right down to RNG. Random number rolls. Who is going to roll higher, us or the cat? It looks like we might... Okay, it's getting tense. Let's finish it off, please. He could crit us right now and we could probably die. Okay, there we go. Not, not good. Not good at all. I see, okay, well, this is where we found that hut, right? with the troll who was way high level. I just want to get to the coast and take a look, and I don't really want to fight anything else over here that we don't need. The Savage Coast. Well, we're going to end up completing this quest before we figure out how to finish the troll tablet quest. Well, the Savage Coast is not the Vile Reef, as far as I can tell. One level makes so much difference in how we're actually able to take these guys out. That's so amazing. And it's good. It should matter. Alright, we've unveiled the Savage Coast. Still nothing on the map. At this point... I'm just worried that, yeah, when we do find these Vile Reef people, um, I don't know, they could be way too high of a level for us. They could be level 39. 
All everything down here is level 40, so that's worrisome. I think we're just gonna have to head down to head down to Booty Bay. And I'll have to figure out where in the world the Vile Reef is. Because it doesn't seem like it's somewhere close. Not at all. I probably need to get back to the road, but I think this mountain range here is going to totally prevent us from doing that if I don't get around to the other side of it. Like, I don't have a map that's useful right now because we haven't unveiled anything somehow. But I have this feeling that we don't want to end up on the wrong side of this mountain. Because we probably want to get back towards the road. Just trying to figure that out by the level. Yeah, level 40s. We're going to probably pull the whole area. Let's veer towards the corpses. Well, this corpse is already respawned into that living mob. Who would probably love nothing more than eat us alive. Yeah, we're probably going to die here. <laughs> the southern part of Stranglethorn is a little bit more intense than the northern part of Stranglethorn. If you already didn't know, which you guys probably already knew. And so to those of you who did know, this is no shock that this is happening right now. I think we'll live and maybe this one will reset. It could go rogue and just never reset. We've kind of had that happen before. Not with these guys, but with other mobs. Oh, look at that. We lived. We didn't deserve to. I'll say that. Alright, I'm going to run us down to Booty Bay. We'll see what's going on there. We'll turn in the breadcrumb. We'll read the long, the long log we hear for the third. And we'll read the first. And then we'll have to figure out what's going on with the Vile Reef if we haven't already figured it out by then. I realize I could probably read some of these while we travel. That way you can get a little look around the zone in parts we haven't seen. And I can go over these logs here that we have. A moon over the veil shines, casting its glow upon the jungle where proud warriors heed the call to defend our nation in sacred grounds. The moon over the veil shines far above the cries of battle, where blood is spilled, of foe and comrade alike. And when our brethren pass into realms beyond the known, the soul spirit hardens deep beneath the veil. And when our brethren pass into the mountain's temple, we shall protect their eternal spirit, encased within the holy blue crystal. And when our brethren pass, a moon over the veil shines. Very cool. And then we had the third troll legend. I know we're not reading these in order. Maybe that matters. Rising from the ocean, a tower of water, Neptulon sent the great kraken to doomed Ilia. Elela? So huge were their forms that jungles of kelp swayed through their limbs, and Leviathan swam through their bodies. The largest kraken then raised his arms high and crashed them into the sea, sending waves about him, and they raged towards Elila. The kraken roared, and their voices thundered like an ocean storm. We come. Minloth, standing firm, called forth his magic. The waves sent to Ilya parted and washed to both sides, and they flooded to the jungle beyond. Minloth then bade his minions chant spells of binding, and a din rang out as dozens of troll voices rose, and one voice rose above the rest. Minloth bellowed, and his magic gathered the power of his minions' spells, and he cast it at the approaching kraken. The seas parted, and Minloth's spell sped towards the servants of Neptilon. Lightning tore the sky, and the spell struck them, and a thousand bolts fell, boiling water and burning craters into the earth. Minloth cried in triumph, knowing his spell would fell the great beasts. But the Kraken were old, very old. They remembered when the land was first born from the sea. They remembered when the old ones ruled and when... The travelers came and cast them down. They remembered when magic was new. They are old, and they hold many secrets. And though Minloth's spell was strong, it, like the troll, was mortal. And so it failed. 
It failed to bind the Kraken, but it enraged them. Not in eons had a mortal caused them pain, and the troll's spell was painful. And so they shed the bindings of Minmoth's spell, but then ro roared and struck with fury. A rumble was heard as great waves rose from the deep and raced toward the land. When they reached Elila, they cast a shadow on the city. But before they destroyed it, the Kraken halted, poised. The troll witch doctors trembled and cried out to their master. Menloth gazed at the mountains of the, of the sea, doomed and defiant. He turned to his adepts and whispered, and the trolls etched his last words into stone. Menloth then faced the looming Kraken. He grimaced and hurled his staff, his last bold act. The Kraken then bent their fury upon him, Minloth, and an ocean fell upon Elila, and it was no more. And then the waters fell upon the jungle, washing clean all they met. Trolls and beasts cried out as the waters smashed and drowned them. Many Gurubashi wondered why the ocean swallowed them, but then they died and knew nothing. And finally, when the waters reached the mountains, they stopped. Appeased, they retreated back beyond the shores, and they left a wake of death. They retreated, but they surged around Elila and remained, drowning it forever. And the chief, Vargazul, safe behind the mountains in Zulgarub, went out to the jungle and found it washed clean of his people. And he despaired, for his dreams of conquest were thwarted, and never was Minloth the serpent found. All right. That's a lot of troll lore. Are we going to encounter Minloth the Serpent at any point? I don't know. Uh, here we are in Booty Bay, obviously. Goblin Run Sanctuary, where we will find both Horde and Alliance players. Can I help you? What do you want? Bring a chest to somebody in Booty Bay. We can always run out and do this whenever. Uh, let's check it out some of the other quests here and see if we can find our breadcrumb. Yeah, I think this is it right here, Cra Crazen's Cookery. We have to take a pot back to a goblin here so he can fix it. I'm kind of waiting for the little, there it is, Kraken's Cookery, all the way back here. And I know that the Horde Flight Point is over here in one of these buildings. I'm kind of thinking... The Alliance flight point may be somewhere else. Time is money, friend. Uh, he has a couple of quests, so we'll Hurry have to remember up. that. And we will grab a couple of these to see what level they are. Okay, he's in the building, but maybe up top and around. This is very cool. I like it. Okay, so now where is the guy? Up. He's got to be up. Here we go. Awesome. All right, yeah. repair this pot. And then you have 17 quests for us. Oh, I see. It's Kraken's Crock-Pot. An ingenious piece of work, but it can break a spring or throw a gear now and then. Let me see what's wrong with this one. Aha! Its steam charger is rusted out. It has a cracked knuckle gasket, and its formulator is missing teeth. I'm surprised the pot could even boil a turnip in this state. Can I fix it? Of course I can fix it, but there's a price. Oh yes, there's always a price. Okay, favor for Krasik. This will be a good way to gauge uh, what level the quests are going to be here. There is a mountain cave in Dry Whisker Gorge, far to the north in the Arathi Highlands. In that cave is a rare ore, bloodstone. The bloodstone in this cave is not of the highest grade, but even low quality bloodstone is valuable. To those with the knowledge to use it. I would like some. I will fix your crock pot, but while I work on it, bring me samples of bloodstone. Bring me enough, and I'll even give you a bonus. Oh, and if you don't have the skill to mine it, find someone who does. Oh, okay. So, I wonder if we're not going to be able to actually do that. Investigate the camp, supply, supplies to Private Thorson, the Haunted Isle, all these sound cool. The Haunted Isle. Okay, we will check these out next time. I feel like... Let's check the one we just got. 
Yeah, see, this is yellow. So maybe some of the quests down here are actually going to be more appropriate level for us. What's up? And there's so many quests. So I'm going to investigate some of these quests. And then I'll choose uh, the most interesting ones. And that's where we'll start next time. This is going to be a good opportunity for us to take a break. Uh, I mean, we're in and in, and we're getting rested XP. And we did not find the Vile Reef, but I might have to research that. I'm going to give it um, probably a few more episodes to see if we just find it naturally while we're doing these other quests. Because that happens a lot, and I'd rather it happen that way than me having to look it up on Wowhead. Uh, just for the sake of immersion. So we'll see. We'll hopefully finish that one up as we work on some of the quests that we grab here. As always, I really appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And we will see you again really soon. Take care and wish me luck.